Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt Napoli here. Welcome to episode 147 of Snack Minute. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking to Par again uh, from learning and certifications and some of the new things that are going to be coming uh, down the pipeline. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for having me again on episode 147. It's always delightful to be here with Matt and with Kareem and talking to all of our snackers, our community. I am the vice president of learning and certifications, and we have a lot of exciting news to share today. We, last time we had you on, Par, we talked about uh, AI and the importance of AI and what Cisco is doing with AI, especially when it came to um AI in Cisco. Um, I think there's a couple of things that we're going to talk about today, but let's let's follow up from our previous episode. What have we been up to and what have we done so far with AI in Cisco? We felt that the timing was right to look at this from a industry neutral lens and provide the skills and the training that are needed to design these AI infrastructure workload networks. And so we announced a Cisco certified design expert for AI infrastructure. And it was received extremely well. And we're going to be rolling out training between now and the time it is available in February. So I'm going to pause there because I just covered a whole bunch of information that I want both of you to also provide your perspective and feedback on. Yeah, yeah or I, I can I can chime in real quick, and I know Matt has has uh, a lot to say on that. I know he's been working closely with AI, um, but it, it makes a lot of sense. The the our certification that AI infrastructure CCDE uh, elective that we just announced at Cisco Live is huge. I mean, um, we you look at you look at the AI workloads on Cisco today, right? And like you said it's impacting the infrastructure, it's impacting the network. And so how do you validate these skill sets that you need out in the market today in order to get ready for these workloads? And so we put that in perspective and we've created the certification to be able to validate the design of um, the work, design the infrastructure for the workload. So you'll see protocols in there that you probably heard of, but they are there to for the lossless networks, you know, being able to make sure that your network is as efficient as possible to while, while you're designing it, because these workloads need high efficiency, uh, power management, right? Being able to massive GPUs come in play here and that massive GPUs come in uh, from an infrastructure perspective that, that basically that compute needs to be properly managed from a power perspective. I think it's it's great that learning and certifications is taking the bull by the horns and saying, listen, here's the things. I, I know you guys are kind of screaming into the void and going, I don't know what's going on here. And you guys are saying, here, we'll help you out. We'll we'll usher you into this this new era. And it really is. It's the first time I think um, you know, since in my career that I I've seen a new era coming out and and being able to look at the baseline, the, the bottom of the stack and say, this is how we address these things. Um, super exciting. And and I saw that it was palpable from the community um, that they're really excited about this and, and cannot wait to learn. Yeah. And what the reason why we, you know, looked at it from that design factor, like we've, we've implemented, uh, you know, updates to our blueprint for CCIE to address uh, workloads. We've updated, we came out with an announcement of where we're updating all of our certifications. Uh, we made an update to our CCNA, it's CCNP. But the big difference and the big reason we really focused in on this design aspect is it is a new concept. And we talked about GPU utilization. We talked about sustainability. There are compliance issues related to both of those with uh, data and GDPR and the security associated with that, that is now a metric that CXs are responsible for. Likewise, in Europe, in February, CXs will now have sustainability targets. And this is something that is good for the world, but it's also new. And there has to be a trade-off. The trade-off of what do you need from a cost optimization standpoint? 
what do you need from a data standpoint, not just the security of data, but how often does that data need to be updated? That's a business decision. That's a use case decision. Um, and the sustainability, of course, with all the power consumption and the trade-off for costs and, and uh, uh, everything else related to it, this is new. And typically, in at our expert levels, we've looked at experience to gain that proficiency. Because this mm -hmm. is moving so quick, we don't have the luxury. And I know some of the community is going to be disappointed because of that competitive spirit. I mean, you all love putting yourselves in front of each other and, and earning that. We really felt like the speed of this, we need to provide that assistance. It is incumbent upon us to provide this skill set based on the use cases and based on the new the newness of this. And, and Matt, you, you hit the nail square on the head. There is such a hype cycle with AI that some of it really mm -hmm. isn't AI. This truly is. There is no AI without a secure network. And we are all in to providing the skills that are needed to accomplish that. And who better than our community to be at the base of this and the oracle of this, if you will. So, you know, really excited about having everyone come in here. We have training already in Cisco U. Uh, we have several blogs on this. We have a bunch of tutorials. So I think I think it is it is incumbent upon all of us to really lean in and start upskilling and, and having the conversations and driving the market with choice. Again, industry specific. So providing that choice. Absolutely. And and to add to what Paul is saying, the we understand that this is new to everybody, right? AI workloads for the, our infrastructure depends also on the different use cases and the different the mm -hmm. different life cycle of that AI workload. I'm really excited that we're at the forefront of the education piece of this. Um, I feel like we've always been there. And for the networking side, historically, I've always been really proud uh, to say that I work for the company that makes the internet work. Um, and um, I think that we'll be at the forefront of making AI work on the internet, honestly. So <laughs> thank you guys for that. I was really excited to hear about it. Um, Par, thank you again for, for coming on and joining us and uh, letting the snackers know what's going on with that. And snackers, keep an eye out for all the information coming from, from Cisco U and learning and certifications around this wonderful new certification. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, snackers. Thanks, Par. Thank you.